Hello and welcome to Facecheck. You're joining me for an afternoon's playing on Gentechie.net. Uh, I myself work a little bit ill at the moment, so I'll be coughing and spluttering the whole way through this one. Um, so yeah, feel free to skip it, but I figure I'm playing some games anyway, might as well record them. Uh, I'll be playing this deck in the casual section uh, since last night, pretty much. Um, decided to do something with the, the, the Cronus protocol. I made a deck a while back, but um, it wasn't programmed on Gentechie.net and it was just a pain in the butt to ask what's in your hand. Okay, get rid of that one. So it's been programmed, I decided to have another go at it. And you know, uh, you know, Damon said that net damage is the solution to Faust. Um, so let's see how true that holds. Uh, Cronus Project Protocol, if you don't know, uh, the first net damage the runner suffers each turn, you may look at the runner's grip and select the card that's trashed. So the, these, uh, this ability has kind of been used for uncorrodable, if you can get rid of all their fractors uh, and just have a whole bunch of uh, barriers down, then they can't get in. Um, I'm going a different route, I've gone mostly uh, sentries and I'm just aiming to do a lot of damage just to get the most out of my ID. It's not particularly good but uh, it can lead to some interesting plays at least. Uh, not a lot of my stops anybody so you have to come up with other ways of uh, deterring them. So Fetal AI is a, uh, you know, one of the staple uh, damaging Jinteki uh, agendas, 5-2, so you're losing out on an agenda point, uh, normally 5-3, but it does cost 2 for the runner to steal and it does do 2 net damage when they take it, so again that will trigger your ID. House of Knives, if you can score that and you can play a little bit of Never Advance uh, to begin with, uh, then when they do a run, you can use one of the agenda counters and do 1 damage again, uh, enough to trigger your ID. Then uh, Philotic Entanglement, if you score that, if you get a bit behind, you know, you can protect just this one. Uh, you can maybe go in for a kill later on, do three, possibly four damage to them, um, which is decent. And then Future Perfect, uh, really just there to round out the sweep. You don't want too many, you're not uh, personal evolution. So five threes are useful, and this one protects itself the best out of any agenda in the game, really. So moving on to assets, you need three Jackson Howards, uh, not so much for draw, but just to put things back into your, your deck. Um, you'll probably end up a little bit flooded because it's quite hard to score, so at some point you might want to overdraw and, and bin a bunch of agendas. Museum of History, uh, I'm paying the influence for this one, but again this just lets you put things back into your deck. Uh, once the runner has trashed them, uh, including other museums of history. Um, if it went to over 50 cards, then I could have it for no influence, but uh, actually maybe that's not a terrible idea. Free up a bit of space. Um, I'll maybe think about that one a little bit more. But if you can protect this, then you'll, you know, you'll never really deck yourself out, and you'll always be able to put back more snares and shocks. Speaking of snares and shocks, Shock just does the one one damage, protects R&D a little bit, you can throw it out as part of your never advanced strategy. Uh, just enough to trigger your ID ability and then snare, costs a little bit, you know, four four credits isn't cheap, but um, the three net damage to the runner and a tag, uh, you'll find a lot of runner assets or uh, runner resources um, you want to trash, so if you can keep that tag on them, then that's pretty good. Uh, so. Then your ice sweet, as I said, it's mostly sentries. Uh, assassin, just a one-off. Uh, good if it lands, but if you get out moneyed, they can get through without too much problem. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, then we've got Cortez lock. Um, early on, if the runner, uh, if an unaware runner hits that, then it can be game over for them. Kamainu, only one of these, uh, usually gets parasited away very quickly, and a surprising amount of people are playing hunting grounds, so. Um, it can be a dead card. Neuro Katana, uh, do 3 net damage. Now on its own it's you know mimicable range, just costs 1 credit to get through for a 4 res. Mm, not so good. But we'll come on to Marcus Batty in a minute and that's kind of where your your biggest threat uh, lies. Pop really just costs the runner 2 credits. Uh, Sarugi is good against Faust in particular, costs him 4 cards um, if he wants through. Uh, whatever way he wants to do it. And then Wall of Thorns, uh, just a, the single barrier there, and y your Gura is just this, the co only code gates in there. Uh, and they'll do a little bit of damage, and this is the only end-run ice that you have. <coughs> Blah. 
So we need a lot of money to fund all of this, and we're uh, operations based. So three hedge funds, two medical research fundraisers, and three sweeps weeks. Um, you'll find you probably go down quite low on credit, so this is a good way to bounce back up. Then the operation that plays most into your ID is Neural EMP. So if the runner makes a run, then they, you know, whether you do or don't manage to ping them, be able to Neural EMP them next turn to ping something else from their hand. Now put mission notions in, um, you'll notice that there's only agendas really to use them on, uh, and no June bugs or um, cerebral overwriters, but the runner doesn't know that, and if you mission out a fetal AI and advance it again, you know, it's the, it's the same question to the runner whether it's going to be a trap or not, so you might be able to get it out that way. And then your win condition really is Marcus Batty, so uh, rather than Caprice, if you have Marcus Batty and a Neuro Katana in a remote, or even two Marcus Batties and a Neuro Katana in a remote, then it's very dangerous for the runner to, to go against you, because you could fire that subroutine to make them lose three cards, and then if they're going to access Fetal AI, for example, they lose another two cards. If they're using Faust, you know, maybe they don't have that many cards in their hand. Uh, to get through Neuro Katana, they need to spend two, so that's three plus two plus two. be seven cards, um, and then you could always neural EMP them the, the next turn. Um, so, yep, I mean, that's how it works. Let's see what uh, we can do. So, record it. And create that game. Now you see here, uh, you know, none of my friends are playing at the moment. Uh, there is a a Chrome extension called Jank Techie. Let's you add friends, and, and they're working on making a few new adjustments as well. Let's see if I can show you that. Uh, it'll pop up here, um, and then you got you know your friends list there. Uh, so anybody you're on the lookout for, you can play games with. So nobody in the the casual section. This deck's definitely casual. You know, tier two, tier three. Um, yeah, I mean, tier 2 is optimistic. Let's pop into competitive. Anybody there? Nope. So, uh, hang around here until somebody wants to play a game with me, I suppose. Uh, so, here's a fella. And uh, let's see what I'm up against. Wizard. So, uh, in museum of history is pretty bad. Unless I can protect it. Um, so, let me mulligan that. So, now he's got yogs. I could just money, 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 I suppose. Um, money, money, money. Give him money as well. So he can now drop liberated accounts, turn one. Take money back off. Now, both of these do damage to him, so I'm not so worried if he runs HQ. Oh, and he's gone for I've had worse. Click one. That seems. It's a bold move, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off. Let's install Jackson, draw two, and then let's just throw that over R&D. Now, as I said, it's pointless once uh, uh, I don't want to shuffle my money back at this stage. Yeah, I mean, my Jackson's not doing anything else for me. <coughs> Goodbye, Mr. Jackson. So he's got money. Wait, it plays another iPod worse. Wow. Uh, very, very bold move. Um, so let me now draw. Let's just put this in a new remote. And then. Getting a credit, I suppose. I'll go for the fetal score next turn. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. Just have to wait and see. So there's Faust. Um, darn. So if I now put this in server 2, and then, and then, um, gain credit, gain credit, I suppose. I've got three things in my hand that do damage. Uh, they're all trashable for free for wizard. So he's got money. So let's go for it I suppose. Let's put you in server 2. Advance. Advance. 
Now let's see what he does. So if I can ping him for two, then it costs him. Oh, oh, dangerous game. Snare, snare, snare. Ah oh, well, so it goes. Is he going to go for it? Nope. Well, there we go. Two points on the board. Better nothing. Two, three. Score that. Just throw shock into archives there. And end my turn. So yeah, it costs three cards to get through Wall of Thorns. Um, let's throw that on server two. Gain a couple of credits. See if we can find another agenda. Um, yeah, I mean, he's going to want to spend at least one card there, I suppose. You never know, it could be a snare. Oh, Bidding David. Bold move. Might have clone chips, though. I mean, this deck does look a little bit uh, competitive for casual, but. Let's see if we can't kill him. Yes, let's get rid of Parasite. Goodbye. What else did I get rid of? Yes, both Parasites. Dancer. That's got to be a pain. So, <coughs> let's uh, EMP him here. Let me get rid of. Uh, I don't care about money. Let's get rid of Data Sucker. Gain credit, gain credit. So he's obviously digging for wild side. And give him money, that's not a huge issue. And then let's throw that into server two and gain another credit. Let's see what he does. Wait, what happened there? Did he get a, did he find his third parasite? It's annoying. Oh, medium against me is a bold move, my friend. Bold, bold move. Um, no more action. Ah, no, but he's... <laughs> he's getting them. Okay, let's see what we can find. Uh, so let's museum history up. Shuffle cards from archives into R&D. Let's put... Uh, Neuro back there. Yes, I know, I did that wrong. But same deal, right? So let me... New remote. Draw two. Draw two. And then snare in the bin. Snare in the bin. Uh, Yagura in the bin. No. Mushin in the bin. So if he makes another run on R and D, I will. Uh, Shuffle up three cards in. One, two. I'm gonna put shock back. Now he's got a very good chance of uh, winning right here, but let's see how it goes. Trash museum. Yes, please. Let's get rid of. Hmm. Let's get rid of forked. Now is he gonna go again? Probably not. So, shuffle the snare back in, and then mandatory drop. So now, if I R and D take money, and let's just put Batty on R and D. It's got to make him pause at least. Maybe give me a chance to find another. Uh, thing. Okay, so he's in a relatively good shape here. So I'm going to shuffle. I'm going to shuffle that back in. It seems. Uh, oh, that will do. And then, and then, 
let's mush out a snare. Prankies. I'll just overwrite it if uh, if it comes to it. Tee hee. Yeah. Let's lose. Levy. Lols, lols. Deo. And that puts near back. See what we get. Um, and you get credit. So I've now got my kill condition pretty much. Uh, no more action. Ping. Uh, if he comes in again though, I'm in trouble. Let's lose a data sucker. And then uh, I've got the money for it, but he's going to come in again. Spend two this time. He's going to come in again. Absolutely no reason not to. Let's go for one. Just draining my money. So start turn shuffle. Urgh. Let's put, let's put some ice back. Mandatory drop. Um, drop. Drop. <laughs> drop. Okay, I'm in a world of heart now. Uh, basically, <laughs> <coughs> so you'll trash that. And you come in again. Now he's got a 75% chance of uh, winning here. And even if he doesn't, he comes in again. And then he's got like a 66% chance. Yeah, GG. <laughs> Sad times. Drawing two more house of knives. Um, okay, well that didn't really go too well. But it wasn't too bad, to be fair. Uh, if I just had a little bit more ice. Oh. You have no chance if you don't protect HQ. Correct. Um, that's not good advice. Um, yeah, if I managed to get one more card, of course, then I'd be in a better place. I'd install that, install the batty, and then he wouldn't uh, really necessarily want to come in all the time. Um, Alright, let's have another game. If we can, leave this one. Additionally, his deck was not casual. Um, I don't really mind people playing top tier decks in casual. Um, you gotta get, you gotta practice somewhere. If you just go straight into competitive and you don't really know how the deck works, then you'll just get beat, and you'll be like, "Oh, this deck's terrible." But uh, in general. It's not. <laughs> um, you know, my decks, there should be like tiers, really. I mean, competitive, uh, or maybe even like, you know, tier 1, tier 2, tier 3. Um, or competitive tier 1, tier 2, tier 3. Um, at least that way you can have a little bit of control over what you're playing. Because if you're going to a tournament, then you're going to want to play your tournament decks, and then you can, you know, practice for, for that in competitive. But if you just want to put together a deck, uh, which is what I often like doing, certainly if, you know, for the first year and a half of playing Netrunner, I just like putting together decks, just seeing how the cards work together and playing that way. Oh, excuse me, honestly, so ill, so, so ill. Um, burning up. Got cold, got sore throat, got a headache. Literally dying. No, that's not true. Uh, although, if you look up literally in the dictionary now, literally means literally. And also, not literally, <laughs> metaphorically. Um, language, eh? What's that about? Um, this always happens. I always try and get a second game and nobody ever comes along. And here we go. Nope, gone. Did not want to be recorded. 
see if I can find anybody else. It's not as if my decks are any good. If you ever watch the channel, you know, you can come along and play me in casual. It's not a, it's not an issue. If I'm playing in competitive, yeah, you know, you I have a, a tournament deck for you, but um, casual I could be playing any old nonsense, and I am playing any old nonsense. What else have I got? This um Faust old deck we never managed to get Faust uh, involved in. Uh, what was this one? Um, oh yeah, hostile infrastructures, Mumba temples. Yeah, oh yeah, we were building this one on the, the the Twitch stream. It was okay actually. Um, maybe I should work on that a little more. <coughs> this Jess deck's decent actually. Um, Siphon Jess could well be a thing. Still nobody looking to play. Oh, yes, an opponent, a challenger appears. Yes, Ken, he seems casual. Uh, I will... Uh, I'll just keep it. See what happens. Install, install, install. Hope to not do too much bullshit. Well, that's up to you. Um. Right, so let me install, let me new remote, and let me put this in front of HQ. He's still a criminal. Um, <coughs> no reason to assume that Ken is not running account siphon. Ugh. Gonna have to, haven't I? Don't. Um, so easy fix. I see a lot of people complaining about how hard it is to fix something on Gentechie.net, but don't agree with that. Well, that's a definite for him, <laughs> yep. Okay. I need to get money as fast as I can, so... Yeah. You know, the the reason you've got forged activation orders is to, to make the runner poor, you know, very good early game, or whenever you get the runner down. <coughs> uh, the corp then, sorry. I just left that up there, I mean, it's, uh, I presume he's maybe got a mimic. Okay, so he's getting money, I'll get some money next turn as well. Same old thing, so let me, money... And let's mush in that one out. See if he goes for it. And if not, I'll score that. Gain a credit. And then I'll score that. He's drawn up. Nope. Not going for it. Yes. Vance advance. Score that. Gain a credit. Now, what's he got? Nah, uh, you can't infer anything from having the same old things out of Ken. He wants to recur his run events a lot, so... Not sure I'm learning anything from that. Yeah, I can triple advance this and still have the 4 for Snare. And then... Game on. <laughs> boo. Boo, boo. Now criminals more than most don't like it when you trash their stuff, so having House of Knives scored now, and three points, puts pressure on. Um, <coughs> throw a pop over R&D, uh, very cheap to res, but also cheap to get through. Ah, oh, another House of Knives. I should have House of Knives them. Fool. Alright. So, let's lose... Inside job probably. No more actions. Fair enough. He's got loads of money. So let me throw this over R and D. Gain a credit, gain a credit. Yeah, there's no programs there which hurts criminals the most. 
Oh, okay. Not much I can do about that. It's obviously just drew into it. It's annoying. Okay. It doesn't cost you anything to bypass with fame as a problem. Fetal AI. Mm. Yeah. Let's lose retrieval run. Spent influence on it, so you must want it for a reason. Now let's draw. Gain credit. Nick and Jackson back a few things. For funsies. So levied already there. Still fairly early in the game. Oh, he's on six agenda points, I suppose. I'll raise that. <coughs> How do you get up to six agenda points? Oh yeah, because I had no money when you hit the future perfect. Now I remember. So he's down to no money, really. I'll just money up. He's probably got another siphon, but whatever. Not too much I can do about that at the moment, yeah. So he's also going to tag me. I need to trash that at some point. GG. Um. I mean, Kamino's just been a liability every time it's come out. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, he got fairly lucky-ish with these accesses, I guess. Um, yeah, I mean, siphon me down, that's what criminals do. And then I can't play the, the game to protect them. Um, I didn't see a lot of ice. How many ice am I running? Do -do -do, so back to Hydrochronic. 11 ice, yeah, I mean, that's not a lot, not really enough, but I don't want too much. <laughs> Later. Uh, Alright, let's leave the game. Uh, okay, so that's two resounding losses already, so let's try one more. Oops, let's cancel that. And then... Recorded. Let's even get one more game out of it. And try and play a halfway decent game. Obviously no promises. Do -do -do. So, Xylus. Hey. Scouting, eh? So Silas is watching our last game. No, no. Casual room. Um, yeah. Indeed, I want you to play a terrible deck. Give me a chance. Oh no, nothing I could do against black males. Because I can't raise the ice. Now let's keep that. Get some money. Do it, do it. HQ. Okay, well, a reasonable start. Hmm. So, gonna give me even more bad pub, eh? Install new remote, have some money. <coughs> and that will start putting the money back, I suppose. Fairly lucky to see three economy cards already. Keyhole. Right, let's get some ice up and running there as quick as possible. Again, there's some cards I don't consider particularly casual. Keyhole. Eat our keyhole. Oh, fuck off. Oh, 
Oh, he went for two. I suppose he gets one free credit, but. Uh, oh, again, it's going to complain that I fucked it up, but. Um, that I messed that up, sorry. So let's throw that on RD. Let's throw that in your remote and let's get a credit. So to rig over RD at this point is pretty good. Uh, let's raise you as well. And then let's just start putting some money back. So draw, draw money. Make money, money. I'll keep the batty for a neuro katanad remote, hopefully. Not much I can do about that. You going for the other one? Draw. New remote gain credit. I really need something that does damage. Maybe I should have thrown that in server one, thrown the body in server one. What does this do? Reduce by one. Hmm. I don't mind so much. Now let's just go for it. <coughs> I mean, you can click for a credit, blackmail, nothing I can do about that. Picking two cards out of his hand. But it does get rid of one blackmail. So he's probably got Raymond Fisk in there somewhere as well. I didn't have it, so one, two, three. Score that, and get rid of that, so my hand size is back up. Uh, not Raymond Fisk, Raymond Flint, that was his name, so when I get bad pub. So he's saving these for when he's got Raymond Flint out, I think. So I really want to have me some things. What, what do I want? Things, correct. Tally parole. Um, I wonder... Let's do that, and then let's do <laughs> server four. Mm, yeah, what if I can beta out? I'll beta out. He's got to at least consider it. And a uh, shame I don't have the museums anymore, but uh, see what happens. Eater. Interesting. Still got two MU. So everyone, R&D, gain a credit. So he doesn't have the money to be doing Eater keyhole runs, but <coughs> at some point you might. Fairly expensive to get through. Two, three, four, five, six, seven each run. <coughs> Not really something he wants to be doing, I wouldn't imagine. Now against uh, Valencia and, and Black Males, Caprice is obviously the better shout. I really need him to make a run where I can raise something, but uh, what I really want is a snare. You bend a blackmail. Why would you bend a blackmail? It seems like a terrible idea. Let's raise Jackson. Draw two cards. 
make some money. Let's throw that in server four. Let's see what he does. Now if he gets that, yeah, I'm okay. Used up one. Uh, ooh. Why would you get rid of the blackmail? He probably thinks that is a caprice. Which is another good thing about Batty. So maybe going fishing for another one. Um again, let's see if he's got them. So that'll put us both on three points when he steals it. But we've taken a hit. Although Earth Rise at this stage is uh, pretty decent. And then blackmail. Some money blackmail, yep. Yeah. No more action. No more action. You'll be able to trash both things. No more actions. Because Batty's only one, only cost him two for Fetal. Yes, let's get rid of. I've had worse. Tee hee. <laughs> uh, enjoy all your cards. Cool, cool. So now let me draw money. Just gonna throw that in server four. See what he does. And if nothing, I'll start putting cards back. <coughs> There's money and up. No tags. <coughs> so let's do it right this time. Res you. Oh. Yep, shuffle cards and archives into R and D. Now uh, let's start with snare. A mandatory draw. So now let's throw you and RD. No, it's not what I meant to do. It meant archives. Let's throw you in archives. And then let's throw you on server four. Uh I've not seen any same old things yet. Well, no, one's gone. <coughs> One blackmail in the bin. And there's Raymond. So next time we'll do that. What I really want is to find a snare before then. So shuffle um shuffle batty back in and then mandatory draw. Uh that's fine, I'm just gonna gain three credits. Ping a card out of his hand if he does some shenanigans. So he could pay for that to come off, then he can give a uh, investigate of thingy and they'll see both those cards. It's probably the right move at the moment. Uh huh. And then click for that. So I'm going to ping him for one. Walls, walls. Like I say, I would prefer a snare, but. Oh, frame job. Fair enough, we'll do it that way. Yeah. Uh, let's do same old thing. Goodbye. Tee hee. Uh, and he had no money to trash it, so he's probably not going to want to do that again. So let's now put one of you back in. Let's put in some money. Actually, what I've got. Let's get another. Let's put another museum back for the putting back's good. Um. <laughs> so let's throw that in R and D. Gain credit. Gain credit. He's definitely not going to want to give me any more bad pop here. Although this time we will be able to trash it, I suppose. See what he does. 
<coughs> so I've got a three max hand size, but that doesn't really bother me. Let's put this other museum back. Museum's great for breaking any R and D lock that might happen. Um, and he's already given that agenda up, so let me throw that in server four. Advance. Advance. Now, luckily, the lag there might make it look as if it's not an agenda. <laughs> Let's see what he does. Fishing for another blackmail. Does he have it? Yep. Okay. Yep. Uh, let's get rid of... <laughs> now if that is a June bug, he's dead. So yeah, he has, <coughs> has to think about that. Yeah, it's fair enough. But that's the, the threat of net damage there, isn't it? So score that. <laughs> Tee -hee. Um, yeah, but if it was a June bug, like he could no longer uh he couldn't really risk it as a thing. But that is two blackmails in the bin and two same old things. <coughs> yep, so sacking that off, so now my max hand size, well actually it's still five. Uh, choose an amount to spend for future perfect. One. Oh, very good. Yes. Uh, let's get rid of this frame job. And then he finally trashes it, got the money for it. So now let's put this in server four. Gain credit, gain credit. Does he have it? Now if he does have it, it's game over. If he doesn't have it, it's game over. But I can't really just play the game as if he's always got the right answers. Like I say, he'd have to... He's got one more. He's got it. Let's ping Earthrise. But it doesn't matter anyway, it's GG. The real question of course is if he just drew into it, which is uh, annoying, or if he's just drawing up for potential snare damage. Um, so, uh, yeah, the deck falls flat a bit if you can't get your ice raised. Um, I maybe could have waited a little longer, I suppose. Uh, but if I kept that in hand, at some point he's going to give me more bad pub. Um, that wasn't an unfun deck. Well, that was a lot about unfun, but... Uh, yeah, complaints about things like blackmail and stuff are... that it, uh, ruins the interactivity. No worries. Right, I'm done anyway. Uh, I'm going to go for a lie down. So, uh, until next time, this is Facecheck, jacking out.